degenerative disc disease, arthritis, and stenosis. The three work together, they're very similar, and they kind of go hand in hand. The treatment also is very similar with regards to physical therapy. Taking a look at the low back, you have bone here, bone here. This would be most common level affected with arthritis. In the lower back is L4, L5. As a point of reference right here, you have your tailbone, and above it you have L3, L2, L1, and so forth. Right here would be your stomach, right here would be the back. This would be looking at a person from this angle, from this direction, from the side. So we have bone here, bone here, spinal cord running down the back, and then at each level in between you have a nerve root going down. This is, forms the foundation for your sciatic nerve, which is one of the nerves that runs down the leg, which people will get some compression on. What happens is there's a disc space. Because of injury, because of aging, because of being out of shape, that space can shrink down. As this shrinks down, and you get a closing effect, so as that space shrinks down, this hole where the nerve comes out, it's called a foramen, uh, that hole shrinks down. And what happens is anytime the person stands up or walks for an extended period of time and they get that compression, that will hit the nerve and give them pain or symptoms down the leg. Numbness, tingling, change in temperature, a heaviness feeling, they'll feel that their legs are cramped. So what most people will do is they'll naturally bend forward. So they'll prefer to sit or they'll sleep in a recliner versus laying flat in the bed. Uh, it's also when you're at the grocery market and you see somebody leaning forward on the, uh, on the shopping cart, they're doing that because it opens up that space. So as they lean forward, as they lean forward, the space right here opens up and takes the pressure off of the nerve. So with degenerative disc disease, which you'll see abbreviated DDD on an x-ray or MRI, that's the actual shrinking of that space where the disc is. With stenosis, that's the actual shrinking of the space where the nerve comes out. And with arthritis, what will show up is you'll have little calcium deposits lining where there's that long-term inflammation. So naturally, the progression would be this. First, the person gets degenerative disc disease. That space shrinks. That closes the hole down right here. What happens is when you get that inflammation day after day after day, the body lays down calcium deposits because of the chronic inflammation and that's what creates the arthritis. And when they take an x-ray and they see those calcium deposits, those little white spots where they're not supposed to be, that's how they come up with the diagnosis of arthritis. Arthritis simply means joint, this is a joint, any space between two bones is a joint, joint inflammation, arthroitis.